Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly and today I wanted to share my favorite mods to enhance family gameplay in The Sims 4 or just to enhance your Sims 4 gameplay in general. And some of these mods as well are very staple to my game to make it run smoother and just function properly. But I just wanted to get straight into this one because it is a long list. So the first mod that I wanted to get into that is one of the most popular mods or the most popular mod and you guys would all know about this one and that is MC Command Center which is pretty much a whole cheat system so if you click on any sim you'll see this option over here MC Command Center and as you can see it just opens up this panel with you know all of their information and pretty much all of these categories that you can edit um, sim commands you can set their age um, you can kill or delete a sim, you can modify them in cast from here, you can even rename sims from here. Um, this is an easy way as well to get your sim to change outfit, so you can click any outfit and as you can see, she will be wearing that. But yeah, you can use MC Command Center for pretty much everything and it's just a really big mod and there's a lot to get into when it comes to this mod because there's so much you can do with it. You can edit relationships as well. But I just wanted to briefly touch on that because, you know, it is a staple in everyone's game, I believe. The next one I wanted to get into as well real quick that you guys would know is UI Cheats Extension, which is pretty much another cheat mod where you could right click anything. To show you an example of how you use Use this as you can see my sim has low hunger so you would pretty much just right click the needs panel and it just fills up all of their needs but uh, you can pretty much right click anything with this mod if you can also right click the game time and set the time you can right click the weather which i do a lot um and yeah you can right click anything to remove or edit it you can also right click their money of course and add simoleons or lower their simoleons and that kind of thing and yeah that is the ui cheats extension the next few mods are just really big mods that I wanted to briefly touch on but I won't exactly be able to demonstrate them all because there is a lot to get through with them but the first one is Wonderful Whims which pretty much adds a lot of realism to your game with things like Risky Woohoo which adds the chance of getting pregnant to regular Woohoo and also menstrual cycles to your game. You can also set your sims attractiveness traits and yeah that is the main reason I use Wonderful Whims. The alternative is obviously Wicked Whims but but that is for a more mature audience and I use that sometimes because they actually have some really good romantic interactions that go really well in cinematic intros so yeah that is the mod Wonderful Whims by Turbo Driver. The next mod I wanted to show you is the Relationship Pregnancy Overhaul Collection which is pretty much a collection of mods that adds a lot more family dynamics to your game. It brings more depth to relationships and adds more to woohoo and things like reproductive health and fertility. So some examples are if you click on your sim, you'll see this relationships, family and pregnancy. And you just have a whole lot of options to go over here. You can look at their woohoo and health. You can even do surrogacy through this. Um, you can carry a baby for another sim or have a baby through surrogate. You can also set your sims pregnancy wish so you can decide their thoughts on having children so I'm going to say right now my sim does not want a child because you know she has a lot and she is actually on birth control currently with wonderful whims because she just wants to take a break right now from getting pregnant and as you can see in their sim traits it says that she does not want a child right now and yeah that is the relationships pregnancy overhaul collection and I highly suggest looking into that one I always have it in my game now the next mod I wanted to show you is the SN Bank mod by Sim Realist, and pretty much all of Sim Realist's mods I definitely recommend. The other one I like to use is the Real Estate mod, but this is a banking mod pretty much. Like it says, it adds a whole banking system to your game, so you can create a savings account and set up direct deposits to go into that when your Sim gets paid. So as you can see here, my Sim has a Premier Savings account and we have a thousand simoleons in there and you can even manage account owners you can have multiple account owners so as you can see her and her husband own the account and this is their shared savings account you can set up a direct deposit and we can set a certain amount of their career pay and things like that to go directly into it so i'm going to say that 60 percent of their career pay goes directly into their savings account 
and you can do the same for any of these categories that you can make money from but yeah that is pretty much the s and bank mod you can even have a physical bank lot and you can put that in your game and your sims can actually visit that and do banking over there i love all of the sim realist mods they really bring your game to life my sim isn't pregnant right now so i can't show you this mod but i also wanted to mention the realistic childbirth mod and what that mod does is it basically makes the whole birth process a lot more realistic you can choose what kind of birth you want your sim to have whether it's just the traditional birth in a hospital they can have a water birth they can have a home birth and it makes everything more realistic like they'll go through the contractions they can exercise on a yoga ball to induce labor they can go on walks and things like that so it is 6 a.m the next day as you can see and i'm actually going to get my sim to make some breakfast for her family so the next mod i wanted to show you is the granny's cookbook mod so this is what it looks like you would need to get the cookbook mod and then download the recipes separately but i did download all of them and i'm gonna have her make some breakfast and you have all of these different recipes that you can choose from and it honestly just makes cooking so much more fun when you have all of these yummy recipes obviously as your sim levels up in skill you unlock more recipes as well so i'm gonna get her to make the full fry up and we're gonna make a family size of that and as you can see, my sim is just going to start preparing her food. Another mod that I have while she cooks that as well is the realistic cooking mod. So if you click on the stove, you can see here we have the regular cooking options. But we also have these categories, breakfast, dinner, bake, homemade. And that pretty much comes with the mod. So if you press eggs and cereals, you can see I also have more recipes here. So we have avocado toast with eggs, baked avocado. Um, eggs and soldiers, fried egg and toast, and that kind of thing. And yeah, it just adds more recipes to your game as well. You can even buy realistic grocery items. And from the same creator, I also love their healthy food delivery service. So if you go on your phone and click the home panel and scroll down, you can see this option, order a delivery, S&S. And, &S. and look how good that looks, guys. Like, that looks so good. And this is what it looks like when you first open it up. So you can get some grocery deliveries or go straight to their healthy food delivery and you just have all these options to choose from and you have things like bean and vegetable soup, chicken stewed with beans and green salad, barley porridge with blueberries and you can even follow a diet program and your sim will actually lose weight if they follow it. They even sell dried fruit, they sell fruit cups, oh my goodness, they sell protein bars, like there is so much to choose from here, I didn't even realize how much they had. But yeah, oh my god, protein cookies. But yeah, you can pretty much buy any of these. I'll get her to buy like a cookies and cream protein bar and maybe like an apple pie protein cookie because I want to see that. And we'll maybe get like one fruit cup just for the sake of showing you the delivery. And we're going to press that. And, and it's pretty much just like placing a usual grocery or food delivery. Doorbell did ring as well. If we look into my notifications, we got this notification that someone has rung the doorbell this is the ding and ditch smart doorbell mod by lot 51 so if we go look outside we can see that our grocery has arrived so we're going to accept delivery and yeah this is pretty much what the doorbell looks like over here and i think we took too long though because she's just leaving it and walking away but that's okay so we're gonna accept the delivery and yeah this just adds a functional doorbell to your game so whenever your sims come up to the door they will ring the doorbell instead of knocking on the door and you will get a notification and guys look this is the healthy delivery packaging and it's just so cute like it has their logo and everything so i'm gonna get my sim to unload the delivery bag and as you can see we have unloaded our delivery and it says the groceries are in our fridge so we're gonna open that up we have our protein bar fruit cup and protein cookies and i'm gonna get her to eat the protein cookie and see what that looks like and yeah she's just eating her protein cookie i'm going to go straight into the next mod which is the choose who you call to meal mod so if i click on this meal i can press call to meal and you can actually select the sims that you call to meal oh my god don torres so this is actually in the same save file as the falls family guys but yeah i can select who i want to call to meal so i'm going to select my husband my son and daughter of course and this pretty much allows you to select who you want to call to meal without doing the regular option that calls everyone to the meal 
So if you have sims that are already full and you don't want everyone to grab a meal, you can just specifically choose who you call. And if you guys just saw now, my sims went directly to the table to eat. They didn't just go to some random seat and sit there. So that is actually the preferred tables mod as well. And you definitely need to download that in your game because it makes it so much less chaotic if you're trying to have everyone sit down for like a family dinner or a family breakfast. And it pretty much makes your sim go to the nearest dining table to eat instead of sitting like on the couch or a random bar stool and yeah that is a favorite mod of mine okay so the next mod i'm going to show you is just a mod that adds more toddler meals to your game so i'm gonna press this nutri baby from around the sims 4 and press get toddler meal and as you can see we have these little cute meals for toddlers and yeah i'm gonna feed my toddler some hmm i'm gonna feed my toddler some mashed potatoes and ham so we're gonna grab one of those it will go straight into your inventory as you can see, and that is what it looks like. So I'm going to place that on her high chair. So I'm going to place that there. And that is basically the more toddler meals mod. It's just a small one that I think would look really cute, especially if you send your toddlers to preschool. It would look like a really cute meal to put in their lunchbox. Oh my gosh, she's just playing flashcards with her toddler right now. That's so cute. I'm also going to prepare a drink for my toddler. So... I'm going to use this functional bottle warmer and you can press this warm up bottle and you have all these options to get a drink for your toddler. You can even get them some tea, like some chamomile rosehip tea, just a bottle of water, but I'm going to get her some milk formula. And as you can see now, she is using the functional bottle warmer and look, it's fully like animated and everything. But this is just a really cute, realistic touch to your game as well. So I love my functional appliances. Okay, and then that will just get added directly to her inventory. So we're going to go over to the high chair and we are going to put that in there for her. Now we have our toddler meal and drink ready. So what I'm going to do is put her into the chair. So now she's putting her into her chair. And sometimes there's a glitch where your sims always pick up their toddler before they can even eat their meal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my toddler eat. And if you press on the high chair, you can press disable pickup. So this is another mod called the disable high chair pickup mod and it basically stops any sim from going up to your toddler and taking them out of the chair before they can even finish eating so pretty much my sim won't be able to pick up the toddler if i press pick up she's gonna say that she can't do it okay so my toddler's hunger need is full now and she has just finished her meal so i'm gonna press enable pick up and as you can see, she can now take her out of her chair and my toddler has finished her drink and meal. I am so thankful to the person who recommended me this mod in the comments below. It is literally a game changer and it just makes my game run a lot smoother. Okay, so the next mod I wanted to quickly mention is the don't wash dishes where you angry poop. So pretty much how that works is you can disable your sim from washing dishes in any other sink aside from the one in the kitchen because sometimes they'll go all the way to the toilet to wash their dishes so i'm gonna go over to the bathroom here i'm gonna click on the sink and i'm gonna say disable dishwashing and i'm gonna do the same in the upstairs bathroom as well so i'm gonna press the upstairs bathroom sink and press disable dishwashing okay, so now i'm going to get my sim to clean up the leftovers of the food she's probably gonna throw out the leftovers we don't actually waste food like this guys this is just for an example but as you can see, she's going directly to the kitchen sink and doing her washing up in here. So yeah, I like this one because obviously it's realistic. I hate when the Sims would go all the way to the upstairs bathroom just to wash their dishes. Okay, so the next one I wanted to show you is the steady sit mod. So I'm going to select any chair and I'm going to press steady sit. And I'm going to do the same with my other Sim. So I've turned on the TV as well and I'm going to get them to watch the current channel. And as you can see, my sim is just staying seated. Basically allows your sim to just stay in their seats and not just get up and walk around all the time. So you can use this mod to get your whole family to watch a movie. Also use it to get your whole family to sit down for a family breakfast or a dinner. So yeah, I love this mod because as you can see, my sims are not getting up and they're actually doing what I'm telling them to do without having to turn autonomy off. So yeah, this is a really good mod to have in your game. And I'm actually going to use my toddler to show you the next mod. So as you can see here, this is the toddler activities mod by Panda Sama. So I'm going to press on this and I'm going to get her to draw her grandparents. And this basically adds more activities for your toddlers to do in the game because as it is now, they can't really do much at all. 
So as you can see, my toddler is getting on the ground to just draw with her crayons. Oh my god, I love the animation for this. It's just so cute. It makes playing with toddlers so much more fun. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be using it in my Let's Plays for sure. And look at that. She drew her grandparents, guys. So I'm going to get her to put it up on the wall. And it is right up on the wall under her previous drawing of her parents, which is so cute. There's more activities you can do with it as well. Like we have this rock of stack that she can play with. This is like a little toy that she can play with. And we also have this little crafting table that is functional for toddlers as well as part of the mod. So I know that the kids can use a crafting table and make crafts and drawings and things like that. But this just adds an option for toddlers to do that as well. And look guys, she's made her little arts and craft project and it's so cute. I'm gonna put that up on display here. And guys, look, my Sims are still watching TV right now all together. And that is with the Steady State mod from before. The next two mods that I'm gonna show you go really well together. So the first one is a Nintendo Switch gaming console. So this is a functional object that works the same as the gaming console. So as you can see, this is the really big, bulky gaming console that comes with the game. So I like to use this one because it looks less bulky than the original. And I'm gonna press play game. As you can see, my Sim is now playing Party Frenzy. And if you have a look, he is actually using Nintendo Switch controllers instead. So this is also another mod which is a override where your sims will use Nintendo Switch controllers instead of the regular video game controllers. So that is the functional Nintendo Switch dock and the Nintendo Switch controller override. So this next mod is a functional pet water bowl mod by Little Miss Sam. So as you can see, it just makes the water bowls functional. So I'm going to get her to fill the bowl. And this CC pet food bowl is also by... Sibulette, if you guys are wondering. Okay, so as you can see, when she's not standing in it, my sim has filled the bowl with water and you can actually call your pet to drink. Oh my god, why does she have to stand over it? Okay, that does not always happen, but we're gonna call our cat to drink. Okay, I think there's something wrong with the way that I placed this. But okay, so I did move the water bowl and yeah, as you can see, my pet is not stepping in it anymore. But it looks like the eating animation, but I just think that it's a nice touch to have a functional water bowl in the game. So that is the functional pet water bowl. And I'll just put that back where it was. And also I did that with the live drag mod. So this is a mod where you can pretty much just drag your furniture around without actually going into build mode, as you can see. You can even drag this, but that is by TMX, the same person who made the tool mod as well. I just wanted to quickly mention that I do like that mod, but it doesn't always work with my high school gameplay. I don't know if it's been updated, but last time that I had the live drag mod and I tried to play with my teenagers in high school, for some reason the high school wasn't functioning. So if that happens to you, I suggest taking the mod out of your game just for when you're going to play with high school, but otherwise it works really well. Okay, so it is now nighttime and I'm going to put everyone to sleep so I can show you the next mod oh no he's mad he hates waking up that's why let's try and soothe him to sleep let's tell a bedtime story soothe to sleep and then kiss good night and she's just changing olive's diaper right now so as you can see my sims are now asleep and this next mod i wanted to show you is the sunrise alarm clock mod so it is a separate cc item and i believe you can get another style of alarm clock as well but i just like to use this one and as you can see it is now going off and it will wake up my sim hopefully oh okay it woke up my other sim and she has just turned it off as you can see so that is the sunrise alarm clock mod and i love that mod for just another realistic way to wake up your sims okay the next mod i wanted to show you is the cake a bake viable cake box from Ravishine. So this is what it looks like and if you click on it, you can pretty much buy any cake or a wedding cake from it. So I'm going to select a cake and we're going to get hmm, we're going to get this Sim City cheesecake and it just goes straight into the cake box and you can just take it out and place it there. You can also use it to store cakes. So even if your Sim bakes cakes, you can put them all in there. We're also going to get another cake just to show you guys Ooh, we're gonna get a pie instead. So as you can see, you can store multiple cakes so you can put more than one in there. So that is the Bible cake box, which I love. The next one I'm gonna show you is the Toddler Lunchbox Food Spawner. So this is what it looks like. You can get it in different swatches. 
but pretty much if you click on it you can press grab snack for toddler and you can click any of these meals i'm gonna do chicken nuggets and she's gonna walk up to it and as you can see it just spawns food on the lunchbox so that is how this one works and i'll probably just put that in my toddler's inventory so she can eat that and as you can see my sim is now eating her chicken nuggets this next mod I'm going to show you is this functional hopscotch. So I'm going to get my sim to play on it. And yeah, they can pretty much just play hopscotch with it. It adds a nice little animation for your kids. I also wanted to show you guys this full control camera by Ravishine. So how this works is you can pretty much click on the camera and take a photo without a sim needing to be the one to control it. And the photos will go directly into the inventory of the sim that you were controlling at the time. So I'm going to press take photo. And as you can see, it just automatically goes to the camera screen. And I'm going to take a photo of my kid playing hopscotch. And you can take photos of all sizes with this camera as well. And yeah, that is the full control camera. Okay, guys, we are nearing the end of this video, I promise. But this next one I want to show you is this Photographic Memory Keeper by Ravishine. So how this works is you can pretty much convert your photos to any of these photo gifts. So these are all the options you have. You can do Polaroids, calendars, and any photo you have in your inventory, you can pretty much transfer it onto any of these. So we're going to make a Polaroid and use the photo that we just took, and it's going to go directly into our inventory. And we now have a Polaroid of our son playing hopscotch. This is also an example of another thing you can make with it. So this is a family calendar that I made for them. And how cute does that look, guys? This is a photo I took earlier before I started filming. Okay, that is so cute that I just have to put that in the kitchen. Oh my god, guys, it looks so good. It adds such a personal touch to their home. I am obsessed with this mod. Okay, the last three mods are just some functional CC that I like to use in my game. So the first one is this toddler basketball hoop that you all would have seen before. So it just adds another activity for your toddler to do or play with. Oh my god, guys, did you see that? It just hit her in the head and knocked her over. But yeah, this is one of my favorite functional CCs to put in my game for families. The last two mods I want to show you are these functional strollers. So this functional stroller acts as a high chair and this one basically acts as a crib. So I'm going to have my Sam put his infant in here. So I'm going to have my Sam cook while the other one puts the infant in the crib. So we're going to make some barbecue smoked brisket. And as you can see, it works just like a regular crib. And he puts him in there and the toddler can just relax in there while the family spends time outside or wherever you decide to put the stroller. I'm also going to get my Sam to give some food to his toddler. So we're going to give her some yogurt. My Sam is putting his toddler in the high chair and she can just stay in there while they eat their smoked brisket. I'm going to get him to grab a serving and I'll get her to grab one. And as you can see, my Sims are just enjoying a relaxing lunch outside while they watch their children at the same time. And I just think it's such a nice touch to add to your build. And it adds a good way to keep your infant or toddler outside with you without them just wandering around dangerously. Before I end the video, I wanted to show you one last mod, which is the serve drinks mod. So if you click on any dining table, you can actually get your sim to serve drinks. So I'm going to get her to serve some lemonade. My sim is serving lemonade on the table, but I'm going to get her to stop because we don't actually need that many servings. But that is all for my mods video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and discovered some mods. Or if you already had some, let me know in the comments below. If you're excited to download any, let me know as well. But I hope you guys have fun with this and I hope it makes your gameplay a lot more fun and interactive. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.